Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this session, we are going to implement the reminder system within the configurable flow which we have implemented in our earlier session. So guys, if you remember that, we have started with this business requirement where one of the business owner wants a help desk system where user raise request for tech support, HR support and other support. This we have already implemented it and we have given to the business owner. And after using for some time, the business owner wants to take it to the next level where he want to implement the reminder system so what his requirement is within the help desk system which we have delivered or say which we have implemented in our earlier session in the same system he wants to implement the reminder system where whenever managers forget to take the action onto the submitted request then a flow will send the reminder to the manager into the microsoft teams chat and that is what we are going to implement in this session so let's jump into the power automate portal to implement the reminder system so guys i am inside the power automate portal and over here i am going to leverage the same solution which we have implemented earlier so i am going to make a copy of that solution and the solution is configurable flow if you remember and i am going to click on this three dots this is a context menu and over here I will click on save as to create a copy of it. So I am going to tell that configurable flow with reminder. So guys this is one of the good practice whenever you are doing any kind of implementation of the new logic then always make a copy of it and do in that copy and that is what I am doing over here. So let's click save. So now over here you will find that it has created a copy. I am going to turn it on and I will go up click on this context menu turn on and then click on this pencil icon and it will take me to the edit mode so now i am going to implement the reminder system in this flow so so far you have already seen this implementation in our previous session and over here we have two modules manager approval and main approval and our requirement is to implement the reminder system for the manager approval because if manager is taking time to take the action for the approval request then he gets notified into his microsoft teams from microsoft teams he will take the action so to implement such logic first i am going to introduce a variable over here so over here i am going to create a variable i will initialize a variable with the name where is manager approval created and this is going to be type of boolean and by default is going to be false so over here i will go to the expression select this one and write false and select this false expression over here click on ok so now this is the first step make sure that you should change the name over here so let's write over here is manager approval completed so now we are done with this step now let's proceed further and go to the manager approval scope and over here within the condition 2 i'm going to change the start and wait for an approval to create an approval so this I am going to remove it and instead of that I am going to create an approval process over here to implement the reminder system scenario. So over here I will come I will write create and here I will select approvals and I am going to choose create an approval over here and this is also going to be first to respond and then I will pick up all the configuration which is existing over here that is going to remain same the only thing is that I just want to perform some additional step in between that the reason I am changing it to start and wait to create an approval so over here I have copied paste it this is going to be assigned to assigned to is going to be mail so I will come over here grab the mail details I am going to capture the same paste it over here I am going to capture link to item I will paste it over here and then I will capture the title so now we are done with this one next whenever we are using create an approval we have to use the wait for an approval so over here I will type wait select approvals and wait for an approval action over here and for this action I need to specify the approval ID so from where I will get it I will get it from the previous action that is create an approval here I will get approval ID I will select this one now I am done now the next step I am going to delete this one so let me delete this one now the moment I have deleted this there are certain changes happened over here you will find that all these condition went away because it is coming from the start and wait action 
So over here, I'm going to use the outcome of wait for an approval action. And if it is approve, then it will come to the apply to each. Over here, you will find that this is also gone. And over here, we need to specify the response over here. So we will search response. And over here, if you will come over here, all of the responses I will select and remaining thing is going to be as is over here it is going to be the apply to each that is fine and now if you will come over here you will find that this is also gone so you will come here and select the dynamic value the response again over here so you will come here click on responses so now we have fix the issue and you will see that it stopped complaining now the next step set the variable which we have set over here as a false that is the is manager approval completed variable which we have created that we want to set as true in this step so over here i'm going to add an action and tell set and over here set variable and i will select where is approved completed and i will mark it as true so now in the next step I'm going to add a parallel branch over here. So let me add a parallel branch that will execute along with this branch. So in this branch, I'm going to send the reminder by checking the variable which we have created over here. It will check that whether this variable is false or true. So over here, you will see that we are currently setting the value false over here. So now in the parallel branch, I'm going to add a do until condition over here where it will check that whether is manager approval completed variable is false. If it is false, then the loop will run until it become true. So let's do it. I'm going to click on control over here and within the control, you will find do until control. And over here, I'm going to add where is manager approval completed which is equal to false so write false over here and if it is false then send the reminder so guys before adding the action over here i want to let you know that there are certain limitations with the do until loop you can execute do until loop maximum 5000 times so that means you can specify not more than 5000 over here if you want to execute you want to use do until loop for our case i am going to keep it 60 only the another thing any flow will run for 30 days only and if you want to specify the timeout for 30 days then over here you have to mention 720 that is total number of hour in 30 days so guys this is about the limitations of the do until loop now let's proceed further and add an action that is called delay i want to add an action over here that is called delay and this will send the reminder at the specified amount of time for example if i want to send the reminder every day so i need to specify over here one and then you can select day over here so this is how you can use the delay over here and if you want to send the reminder after every seven day then you can do it by providing seven over here okay this is about delay now next action we need to add teams adaptive card so over here i will write ms team and I will select this one and the action I want post adaptive card in a chat or channel. So I will select this option and over here I want to send the notification as flow bot and where do I want to post it? I want to post chat with the flow bot and to whom I want to send? I want to send to the manager. So we will grab the email address over here. I will write mail and then I will come over here. See here get manager action and this property i want and i want to specify the adaptive card as i already mentioned that whenever we are using create an approval action then it offers us the adaptive card so write teams adaptive card over here select this one and this will give us the ready-made adaptive card so guys now we are done with the implementation of the reminder system for the manager's approval now let's test it and to test it i am going to reduce the delay over here so that it will send the reminder quickly for our test case so i am going to specify 30 over here i will tell 30 seconds so after every 30 seconds it will send the reminder so i will select second over here and then i will click on save so now we are done with the implementation now let's proceed further and do the testing and to test this application, I am going to log in as Megan. And as you aware that this is associated with the list help desk. So I am going inside the help desk list. And over there, I will raise a HR support ticket to execute the manager's approval process. Why HR support ticket? If you remember that, only HR support ticket 
has the manager approval so let's proceed for the so guys i am inside the help desk list and over here i logged in as megan bowen and i am going to create a new ticket over here and that is called listing reminder logic e1 that is test one copy this one paste it over here this is going to be the hr support priority p3 approval status new and save we are done so now we have created a new ticket now you will notice that this will trigger the workflow so let me refresh it so i will refresh and then you will find that it is pending with manager's approval and who is megan's manager it is mirim i will show you again so over here you will come hover onto the megan's account and you will find that over here you will find that it is miriam graham she is the manager of megan so now let's log into the outlook and over here you will find that got the email and we have set up the logic to send the reminder after every 30 seconds and you will see that i have logged into the teams of miriam and over here miriam is getting the power automate message regarding the reminders and you will see that testing reminder logic t1 and from this place prove it and over here you will notice that miriam is getting this adaptive card from our logic and that is what we have built the bot should send a notification for the reminder inside the microsoft teams and that is our business requirement sets so now let's click on approve and over here specify comment approve submit now once it is being done let's go back to the list came back to the list refresh it then you will find that it proceeded further to the other approvers and who is the other approvers myself and alex so let's go to the power automate and from the approval dashboard i am going to approve it so over here i will come and i will open in a new tab open link in a new tab and then you will find that it is waiting for my approval i will select this one click on this tick mark and provide my comment approve confirm now my approval is also done now let's proceed further let's log in with x account and approve it why it is so because it is expecting everyone must respond that is our approval type is if you will refresh the help desk queue then you will find that it is still in pending approval because it is expecting the alex approval as well so let's proceed further and let's do the approval from the alex account so over here you will see that i come here and over here you will find that let me open it and you will find that it is expecting approval so i will come over here right approved and submit now let's go back to the SharePoint list and over here you will find that it is pending approval let's refresh it then you will find that testing reminder logic t1 is completely approved so now we have seen that how to set up the reminder system within the power automate and this is what i wanted to demonstrate to you in this session so on this note i am stopping over here see you in the next session till then bye bye take care